How's it going guys? Jungle Vulture here. Uh want to kind of finally add some more video to my channel and today I'm going to show you guys how to make Sabiki rigs. It's definitely that time for uh, American Shad to start biting and this is how we're going to do it. Let's hop to it. So first things first, you're gonna need um, sometimes it's never too good to go overboard, but sometimes it is. And the situation this is gonna be will be uh be fishing the rocks, uh, rough water, you know, anything that's gonna get snagged up, you're gonna need some heavy pound tests. So this is going to be our lead line. It is 30 pound test. It's a cheap brand. I mean, it's probably like a dollar, maybe three dollars at Walmart. That's going to be our lead line. It's going to hold everything together. And we're just going to drop dime 20. Same brand and all. Nothing crazy. All right. Now. First things first, we're going to start with our hooks. This is just the type of hooks I use. You can definitely use smaller hooks, smaller kind. Um, really these, the Aberdeen wire hooks, I love them. I mean for brim fishing and everything else, you can use these for uh, you know, when you, you hang, actually hang up in the rocks at 20 pound test, they're going to break. So, obviously, this will bend. And you can see I can bend it right here. You can bend that out, pull it out, get it back to the boat or on land where you're at, bend it back to the shape, keep doing what you're doing, that like nothing ever happened. Okay, so this is the size hooks they use. This is exactly what they are just in case if I didn't have it right. Alright. You ain't got to have one of these, but it's definitely something I would recommend y'all getting. Kind of helps out a lot. Just get you a hook. It's, it's actually something to make flies with. And uh, in this situation, it's definitely going to help out making these sabiki rigs. They're technically flies too, in my opinion. Alright, got that hooked. Alright, go back with our 20 pound test. We'll cut us a little bit off. getting everything set up right now this right here is going to be our key to catching these fish you can get this at Walmart my wife said it was probably like a dollar so I told her to buy every one of them that she can get close to <laughs> so let's get it and the way you cut these you cut them like a shape of I mean a triangle shape like a Dorito <laughs> if that makes any sense let's cut it shape and trust me by far they ain't got to be perfect these fish does not uh, judge on how good you make them so alright it will look something kind of like this Probably yours will look a lot better than mine, but it'll work. I'll figure out uh, which ones you want on this side, and it'll be just like this. If I can see this. That's how it's going to look. Turn that flat over a little bit more. Alright. You can get this here. 
wrap it. Just keep wrapping until it's kind of tight. It's going to come out about like this here. Okay. And you can definitely give a lot more fluff to it, but if it makes it look better. seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? Come back out. Run this back through. And this is a snail. I think it's called a snail knot, by the way, but I could be wrong. But you run it back through. Just like that. And obviously, get a little wetness to it. Tight. There you have it. And yours will definitely come out a lot better than mine, but hey, it still catches fish, that's all that matters. I'm going to give this a bite too. spice things up a little bit get you uh, different colored jigs take it from the back uh, chartreuse is always a good color white uh, red somewhere around that nature but uh, this right here kind of eliminates a lot of those colors because it's, it's throwing off a whole bunch of different colors so you'll, come, you'll keep doing this forever how many you want to do and I just do three on each rig Three, three. You ain't got to go all crazy with it. I mean, so do you, but three is fair enough for me. Alright, next thing we're going to do, we're going to have our lead line, our main line. We're going to come off. Don't, I mean, you could, but why not? Uh, I'll leave mine on here. Uh, just so I don't waste too much line. Just go maybe about a foot, foot and a half maybe. Alright, first spot you're going to start. Have your thumb pitched here on that line. You're going to make a loop. Right? And on that loop, you'll get this tag in. Alright? And you're going to run it through here. You run it about three times. I usually go four, but for doing this, I go three. That's to say I'm finished it out for today, if I can get it through. All right, there's one, two, three. All right, this is what you should come out with. Little, little loop, just like this. hook and this is another thing I forgot to mention you can always uh, check your your uh, line say for instance my thumb right here is the, is the actual line just the imaginary line right you can see where this hook is going to be kind of touching this line if you look down through here just kind of pull this line here pull this tag and look at that it's kind of going out a little bit further up 
So you got this much. I go by, and this is sticking out this far. So this is how far I'm going to have this tag sticking out of this uh, rig. And you might can get away with just a little bit more, but either way it goes, tight's better than that, all right? And you're going to cut, cut you just a little bit, a little bit extra so you can tie your knot. you got to have you some, some runoff from it. All right. Now that you got your knot, you're going to do these loops five times. Do the loop five times through here. Just like that. Alright? One, two, and it's going to be a little sloppy at first. Just how this line's going to work. Three, four, five. If you got a weaker line, you can definitely go seven. But Five is definitely good enough for what we got here. And you got your knot coming, trying to come in. Give it a little wet. Right there. Pull it. Don't pull it too tight. Come back to your actual knot here and pull it. I'm going to pull that to wet it a little bit. Alright. Pull that as tight as you can get. Alright. Now you come back here. Get you some pliers. I usually use my teeth. But I get grab on this side and give it a pull. Please just make sure you don't hook yourself. About your tag off, and that's what you're going to have. You got regular knot by the way it is, it'll stick out a little bit, right? So, and that's that's what you're going to have, just like that. All right, you just keep doing that until. Uh, you get as many as you want. So you kind of keep this short. I ain't going to add the extra two. Um, I will turn around and do this. We'll go back to the one I already built. Everything's pretty much uh, sweet Kool Aid from there. Alright, this will be your next one. All you're doing is just tying this the swivel on. People use this to put hooks on. I don't believe in doing all that crap. That's a little extra. Ain't gonna get into it. I'm not gonna offend anybody. But anyway, I put my sinkers on here. I call them like a little teardrop sinkers. Just put them on through here. That'll be at the bottom. Just like that. And then pretty much it it's gravy you can't it, it's it's really easy after you do it a couple of times if you're really determined you can anybody can do this so I believe that pretty much solved everything except for you get the top part uh, the top part is the beaker rig uh, I did not have any of these on me or I couldn't find them but this right here would actually be on the top before you swivel. No big deal. I'm just going to have to turn around and buy some extra. Um, as far as uh, putting them away, you can uh, use cardboard, make you a, a decent little strip of cardboard, wrap it on once you get that first hook, stab it on into the cardboard, keep going till you finished all of it out. Put your slit up on the top kind of pull your, uh, your swivel back where it'll lock in and boom you're done you know it's just that simple uh, you can do 
cardboard, the styrofoam, styrofoam is just as easy. Uh, probably won't be able to handle just as good as cardboard, but you know, it's, it's there, it's an option. So, um, I believe you can go to Lowe's, they got, uh, you can buy scotch tape, it'll be in a plastic container. Uh, plastic container, the ones that you don't use, you can just coil it in there and be done with it. it I, I just think that's a little bit more organized to me as far as putting it in your tackle box and you ain't got to worry about a uh, long strip of cardboard, you know, just sitting in your tackle box looking all out. But either way it goes, um, that's how you can build a speaky rig. If I went over here or forgot anything, I would definitely make some edits to this. But more than likely, I think I should be good. So, um, Please like, subscribe to my channel. Uh, I definitely try and make some more videos. Try my best to. Um, yeah, it's it's definitely just one of those things, man. Uh, get out, enjoy yourself, go fishing. If anything, if you don't, if you didn't like and subscribe it, please get out there, make that rig, go out and enjoy yourself. Hey, if I didn't learn somebody, I gotta at least be learned you something today for you to make it all the way through this video. But, alright guys, thanks again. Jungle Vulture will be back hopefully pretty soon. See you guys later.